Real quick, the beginning part of this new snow video, it's just showing you guys the clouds rolling in. It's only about one minute worth, but then we'll get on to the heavier snow. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Hey you guys, it's Christmas day. We're right by the airport. Obviously that's the Baldwin side of town, hardly any clouds, but I wanted you guys to see the big part of the storm about to roll in. So when it starts really snowing heavy, I'm gonna put this at the beginning while it's snowing heavy, but look at that. It's rolling in and it is thick and it is nasty. So I really, this is really beautiful, but I didn't want to just post this part of the video. So I'm gonna add this to the next, uh, when I update our snowfall. I've already done a video today for you guys when it just first started snowing. This side of town, it's not snowing. As you can see, we got blue skies, but that huge part of the storm is right there. We're gonna turn right here. I am so excited to see that. But, uh, man. Anyway, hang on. So this is a continuation of the beginning part. Obviously, the rest of this video is gonna be heavy snow or more snow than we had earlier, but I wanted you guys to see it rolling in. This is the, the, the beginning of the big part of the storm to start, start coming through and it is coming in quickly. As soon as we get around this corner, I'll turn it on again. I just don't wanna waste you guys' time. This is gonna be the last part of showing you guys the storm blowing in, the big part of the storm. We've already gotten some snow over by my house, as you guys saw earlier, but you can see those thick clouds coming right over the mountain. Here it comes. The rest of this video will be snow. I love you guys. And once again, sorry about the, the razor burn. <laughs> We're gonna do one more little part of this so you guys can see just how fast this is rolling in. There's Snow Summit right there, and it is getting nasty quickly, really quickly. All right, this is it. So the rest of this video will be snow. I promise, I promise, I promise. I love you guys. I hope nobody pulls out in front of me here. All right, you guys. It's Christmas Day, 4.40 p.m. December 25th, 2021. It's 32 degrees exactly. We are getting snow. The snow is picking up. The storm coverage is picking up up here, the cloud coverage. So as you know what we do as we pick up, we will do another video to show you guys what's going on. We're passing the grocery stores right now. The roads aren't too bad right now. You guys should be fine. But we are going to be heading over by the Big Bear Dam. Look at the wind blowing the snow right here straight in front of us. Look at how cool this looks. We're going to go right through it right now. It's like a side tornado of wind. Of snow. That was pretty cool. A sideways vortice. So we're going to head around the lake. I guess all these people are making a left. The only reason why I turned left this soon into the lane is because everyone else did, but then no one else followed them, so I assumed that they're not making a left. Or they would have already followed them in. Obviously, at this stoplight, I don't want you guys to have to wait for the light, so we're going to turn it off here. But yeah, we're getting some schnee and a little bit of heavier schnee. Merry Christmas, you guys. I love you guys. I freaking love you guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys, the light turned green, and we're on Stanfield Cutoff now. Man, did it get dark and stormy quick. Lee. Quickly. Now, I'm hoping everybody up here is either just parking here or going to turn right. So to the left is Stanfield Cutoff. Well, we're on Stanfield Cutoff, but that's the lake. You can't even see it. And it's snowing in the car, which is pretty cool. These clouds are just getting thicker and thicker, rolling in. By the time we get to that side of town, it's going to be nasty. Then this is the Baldwin side of town. It's getting nasty over there, too. But just like always, they're not going to get as much snow as we get on this side. It's so weird how that works. But that's how it works. Yep, everyone's making a right while we're making a left. Awesome sauce. Oh, don't be going straight, bro. Oh, man. We got the Plowski going straight. Oh, well. At least we know we'll be safe, but I like making the fresh tracks. Not the snow plow. All right. I'm not going to get too 
close to him, I don't want him to get upset with me. He's got a lot bigger vehicle than I do. A lot larger vehicle than I do. And then on the way, we might have to stop and help my friend jumpstart her, her car. My friend Teresa. She works at one of the liquor stores, so I'm hoping that somebody there will be able to help her jumpstart the car. But if not, we will be doing this for her. snow plows are out, you know it's going to get good. This is a really beautiful time of, of evening to film. Obviously, the further we go this way, guys, the heavier the snow is going to get. And I know it's not proper, but once we get to the straightaway, I'm going to pass this guy. Hope that guy's okay standing up there on the mountainside. There's the lake to the left of us. side. You can even hardly even see the lake. I guarantee you it's really coming down on that side, so I can't wait till we get there. But yeah. This way, the more snow will be on the ground. other drivers and now we turn it back on and now we turn it back off Nice. I'm gonna 
slow down my windshield wipers a bit. It's kind of irritating. Oops. Turn off my rights. Sorry, buddy. side of the lake. This is considered North Shore and Fonskin area. The lake is straight ahead there. This is so pretty. So what I'm always telling you guys when there are people driving faster behind you, instead of speeding up like a lot of people do, which creates danger for you guys, just, just pull off at the next possible pull off just, just to let us by because I'm once again the type of person who likes to appease people I'm a people pleaser and so if I feel like I'm holding you up I'm gonna speed up even if it's dangerous and then I'm gonna crash so I don't want that but on the straightaway up here I'm definitely gonna pass this guy because he doesn't care about pulling out at any pull out for anybody and that's okay that is okay I just wanted to get through this drive while it's still this color in the evening time before it gets dark. And there's the lake. Just so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna pass this guy real quick. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. rough sharp terms of turns over here so you got to be very careful like this one you don't want to slide all the way across the road and then crash into somebody else coming the other way I'll put myself in danger but when there's other people that I can see near me I won't put them in danger at all me it's all good Horses, horses, horses. You guys know what I used to, would have done is honk my train horn back in the day. But you guys have taught me to be much more considerate when it comes to the drivers and I've grown up a lot. You guys have helped me become a lot more mature. So I thank you for that. I truly thank you for that. I'm definitely a better man because of it. Because everybody gets irritated in traffic, especially in your hometown when you know where you're going and this and that. And then other people just don't really care. See me, if there's someone behind me, I'll pull out right away. <laughs> the thing is though, there's never anyone behind me. <laughs> you know, I'm either at the very back of the line or I'm at the very front. It's one of the two. Hey. Thank you for pulling out, my friend. That was very nice of you. Once again, we're in fawn skin. You do not want to speed through here. Speed limit's 25. Lost another soldier. Good, 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 good. Making it easier for us. So this is the town of Fonskin, you guys. As I always say, don't blink. Or we will be through it. It's 4.56 p.m., 31 degrees. And yeah, the snow is really picking up.
and tonight I might do a live feed. I'm just really tired, you guys. And you know I love all the comments. I love all the comments. It's just so hard because so many come in all at once. And while I'm driving, especially in the really dangerous weather, it's really hard to respond to them. And I feel like if I miss one, I feel like a jerk. Because I don't want anyone to think, oh, he answered everyone else, but he didn't answer my question. Like, I never want you guys to feel like that. So we're near that that eagle nest or whatever the heck it is, the eagle sanctuary. It's crazy. They take better care of the eagles up here than they do the homeless people. We have homeless people up here, you guys. How scary is that? But the eagles are endangered, so I completely understand. I wish homeless people were an endangered species too. Hopefully that day will come, you guys. Hopefully that day will come. Man, this is lovely. Isn't this lovely? I should have like trophies for people. <laughs> Pull up alongside them and say, you are a big bear driver. Congratulations, I am very proud of you. Man, look at this. There's no one even close to behind us. We're just gonna, look at how dark it is out there. chance to see with our own eyes whether Highway 18 is closed or not. I think it's open, but once we get to the dam, we'll be able to tell for sure. So 
Okay, so we are entering close to the snowiest part of town. The sides, obviously, at the mountain range where you go skiing and upper Moon Ridge parts. This, we are getting into the snowiest part of Big Bear, which is right where you guys enter town, basically. And look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. here at the dam. So cool. So freaking cool. Highway 18 is open guys. But chains are required. You can see the chain required sign right here. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Chains required. I have no idea why this guy isn't going. He's got his right turn signal on. See guys, this is the only time I get frustrated and I need to not get frustrated because I know a lot of you are terrified of these conditions and I get it. I need to turn on the windshield a little bit more. right when you guys are coming into town. snow will be pulled out of this system so let's get colder baby let's get colder I knew I shouldn't have come this way but we've been going the other way for so many times I wanted to go the opposite way because you guys are getting the same perspective a lot so I wanted to go this way but this will show you what it's like in real time well what it's really like to come into town right now with all the traffic.
guys can expect coming up Highway 18. And I'm assuming it's the whole way. I'm starting to get more snow here. Very cool. Looks like they already got a couple of inches of fresh snow over here. This is what you should do, pull over when you put on your, your tire chains. I know they're doing the best they can. They got over as far as they can, and that's as safe as they can possibly do it. And thank you guys for doing that. Because you're only putting yourselves in danger. Well, obviously the other, the other people that might crash into you, but we don't want you to get hurt. getting any closer being on my ass you're just pissing me off asshole I used the, the ASS word sorry guys oh he backed off good I appreciate that Sorry about that, you guys. That was my road rage. Next, he's getting the full blast train horn. But I don't want you guys to think I'm mean. Wow, he really backed off. Thank you. Let me just let me just put my hand out and wave. Thank you. Thank you. say something. This guy was literally an inch from my bumper this whole time. And now he's about 30 feet behind me. Wow, what a beautiful night. This is so beautiful this time of night. The color that the iPhone camera brings out during this time of night is just gorgeous. When we're having snowfall. Mm -hmm. 
So my friend who might need a jump start, she's just right up here. So we shall see. I'm gonna pull over and see if she needs me. Here's Boulder Bay. Coming up to Boulder Bay right now. Hope you guys are okay right there. guys. What a lovely place. Well, once again, sorry I have the heater on so hot, but I don't have much of a choice. I want the windshield to stay dry, dry, or as dry as possible. So we'll be turning into this liquor store, Boulder Bay Liquor Store. That's where my friend works. So I can help jumpstart her car real quick. And then I will be heading back to get this video uploaded. It's going to be a long one. Though. It's going to be a long one. got stuck in the snow in front of the liquor store yesterday. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Actually, let me contact her real quick. Let's, let's see if she actually needs Well, no, I'm just going to pull in anyway. Helped her get her car jump started, so that's good. That worked out great. Let's see the cars coming on this side. But really, I can't see too well. We're just gonna make a run for it. We're making a run for it. She's been waiting there for 45 minutes, that poor thing. So I'm glad I was able to, to do that for her. And look how I'm dressed in my shorts and my freaking t-shirt still. So I was outside in that blizzard jumping her car. But she's a very sweet lady, so I'm happy, happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. I got to help somebody and it feels good. Helping people feels really good, good, good. I'm very happy to help people. Wow. It is nasty out here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's going to be a long one, but... We're on the other side of town where the snow is often more. So yes, people. And then when we get to the boulevard area, we're gonna go take the back streets. I did get a, a comment from, from someone again saying, don't tell these people the back ways. And 
with all due respect, all I have to say is you. Simple. These people will get the back way and the fastest way into town possible because they're spending the money up here, all right? You're probably just mooching off of them up here. So give them a break. They deserve to be here and be here, not waste any time. And I didn't say the F word, I didn't. I just said you, that's all, to the person leaving that comment. Next time you leave a comment like that, I'll show you where, I'll drive right by your house and I'll tell them that's the main street. Just kidding. I'm just very frustrated with all that type of selfishness. Because without you guys, I have to keep on reminding you guys, without you guys, none of us get to live here. None of us are lucky enough to live here. So with you guys coming up here spending money and creating an economy for this place, what's that? What happens then? Jobs. And with jobs, you can make money. With making money, you can live. So that's why I'm very, very grateful, especially for you guys. I'm super grateful for you guys. I love you guys a lot. And I want you guys to have the best time. Don't let any of the locals give you guys crap. I'm telling you. Because this is just as much your home as it is our home. Never forget that. You guys pay for our home. Put it that way. So, I love you guys so much, man. And it, it, it just it makes me so frustrated. This guy's going to get in trouble for having blue and red lights flashing on his car, unfortunately. At least he has green on there. But a cop could pull him over for, for the blue and the red lights. That's impersonating a police officer. It looks beautiful, but that's impersonating a police officer. And that is a very big crime. snow's blowing right here super freaking cool I could cut down this street right here but I'm just gonna see what's going on here because if I cut down this street then I'm gonna have to wait anyway so we're just gonna be patient and let you guys see what it's like driving through all the traffic in town because that is what we're dealing with Snow blowing is so cool. I can feel my blood pressure rising though. See, this guy's smart. He's making a left. These other guys are smart. They're making lefts. I think I might have to follow them. Look at that Barney. should have turned on my siren impersonating a police officer just to scare him knowing he did something very wrong like he just went down kind of a, a blind little turn because people come driving up this side pretty quickly so but right now yeah they're letting out some salt on the roads and stuff like that so they're making it easier for everybody to drive on here so it's not as icy Salting and plowing. Look at that. This is so pretty, you guys. If I honk my train horn, everyone knows who it is, so that's why I don't want to honk it. <laughs> Even though there are many imposters now since I got mine, it's so funny. People will drive near near my house and just do a quick beep beep just to let me know that they have one too. I find it pretty cool. This 
see, I hate this, this poor guy, man. In the middle of the snow, he's gotta put chains on. And you would think on that BMW, he'd be good. It's just such a bummer, you guys. Like, that's the part of coming up here that is a, is a real bummer, is putting on tire chains and being miserable, stuck out in the very cold weather. But here, I'm gonna turn this off for a second while we're going through this nasty traffic. I gotta make a couple phone calls, so hang on. Trust me, we're not gonna get too far. All right, guys. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to be able to drive like a crazy maniac. Maniac crazy driving is not the way it should be. But driving in Big Bear sometimes makes me want to take a pee. That didn't even make any sense, but it rhymes, so I'm the new Eminem. I'm the new Eminem. This phone's overheating. I'll roll down the other one because the snow's blowing this way. There we go. There we go. So I think, unfortunately, the fastest way might be going through the village again, you guys. But I know you guys like that, especially when we're getting schnee. A bunch of fresh schnee. Wow, those poor guys. Unwrapping all their tire chains. It looks like a nightmare. Gosh, I'm so thankful that I have this, these snow tires and this car and my skills. And my skills. I have a very particular set of skills. It's pretty cool because I know no one's gonna recognize me right now because I don't have my beard. even though I love saying hi to everybody. In these conditions, if you look away for one second, you can crash quickly. All right guys, I'll turn this back on in a moment. This is crazy. Hang on. All right, sorry guys. I'm glad I filled up late last night because look at everybody who just got up to the mountain. They're like, damn, we need to fill up, some, fill up our cars, which is safe. When you guys get up here, even if you still have like a half tank or more, I would fill your car up anyway, just in case you get stuck. Because in these conditions, and it gets worse, as I tell you guys, it can take AAA over 24 hours to get to you. And if you run out of gas and you don't have the right equipment in your car to stay warm, that's a, that's that's uh, that could be a problem. So we're entering the village right now. The village of Big Bear Lake, it's so pretty. so pretty. It makes me so happy. As I said, from here on, we're gonna take the back streets. We're not gonna deal with the main road. So when you're on this part of the village, guys, just just follow this video if you wanna to get to Moon Ridge without taking the main road. I'll save you guys so much time and so much heartache, I promise you. What a beautiful place. And look at the snow blowing up there. Look at that, just so cool. I'm so happy to be with you guys. You guys make me so happy. Wow, we're getting a real good steady snow now.
Yeah, this is gorgeous, guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. We're not going to drive through the main part of the village. We're out of here. Finally, we made it to the traffic, but that's the other part of the village, and we're not going there. Wow, it's really snowing, guys. It's really coming down now. They weren't kidding about when they said it would start. Finally, they were correct. Well, thank you, sir. Okay, so this sign says Highway 18 and Ski Resorts to the left. Just stay straight on this, okay? Gotta hit the gas a little bit less there. Okay, we're good. Hope this guy's okay. Putting on tire chains in the middle of the road. That's a real smart guy. I just want to yell out the window like pull over you but you know what like I'd probably be doing the same thing when I'm scared I just don't want you guys to be in that position because somebody's gonna hit that guy somebody's gonna hit that guy guys it is dumping right now holy moly it is really coming down I wish we could get in front of this guy so we could turn on the brights for the first time so you can see how heavy it's coming down. This hill right here, I've seen four by four trucks sliding back down. So not only do you need a good vehicle, but you also have to practice your skills a little bit. As I said, when you come up here at nighttime, go into the empty parking lots up here, the empty ski resort parking lots and just practice losing control and regaining control. It's a lot easier than you think. This guy must be a local because he knows where he's going. So yeah, straight ahead would have been Big Bear Boulevard, but we're not taking Big Bear Boulevard. Even though we could have, so I could have turned on the brights a little bit. But I know we're going to be following this guy the whole way because I feel like he knows where he's going. Nope, he's going somewhere else, thank God. Look at how much snow, guys, with the brights. Look at this. I hope you can tell. It's so pretty. So freaking pretty. I don't want to turn left here. See, I'm slamming on my brakes and we're not even sliding. Make sure we don't run over, run over any children over here. Do not cut this corner short because it's a huge ditch right here. People don't realize it, and then they get up on on this, their car will be on their side. Two wheels in the air. I remember in weather like this, I helped somebody find their lost dog, and I actually found their dog. I drove all through these neighborhoods, and I saw the dog in someone's yard, and when I went to try to go grab it, it ran away from me, but I ended up finding it and grabbing it, it was awesome. All right guys, we're gonna turn on Brownie Lane. You guys know this, this routine now. Let's get a little loose here. Nope, oh, unfortunately my car is just too damn good, it won't.
heard that sound that was really bugging me yesterday anymore so I think it was just a big chunk of ice that was stuck like between my wheel wells and stuff or something like that god this is so cool this is so cool I mean are you guys seeing this I hope so hope you guys are staying through till till this far or you can fast forward to this part because it's really beautiful there we go buddy Lots like this one are ones that I suggest you you go in and practice doing your donuts and stuff. Maybe we'll do some a little bit later when there aren't any cars in the parking lot. We'll lose control a bunch and have some fun because it really is a lot of fun. Look at the snow swirling on the ground. How cool is that though? I'm gonna slam on my brakes right now. Nothing. I mean, I have all brake. He's nasty, man. Alright guys, Merry Christmas to you all. Right after this, I'm going to show you guys the beanies one more time at the end. I'm going to do that for quite a few videos so you guys know, but I'm not going to do it at the beginning just so you guys don't have to get bothered with it. But remember, they're 100% fine merino wool with a leather patch of our logo sewed on. These are the finest quality beanies you can get. I showed you guys the invoice. I spent just under $3,000 for 96 beanies. Merry Christmas to you guys all. Okay, you guys, <laughs> these are the beanies. So I'm gonna post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black. These are all 100% fine merino wool. Different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning, these are. Stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love y'all.